Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and uh, firstly, I have added a new mod, and I hope you will approve. Uh, someone called Waster came into um, Discord today and announced that he had this mod called KOS Disable <laughs> Nasty Sound. Huge, huge thank you to Waster for this mod. I really appreciate it. We figured it out. It's called the build ghost small dot OGG. Uh, and so I asked him if he could please change it to uh, medium, uh, the build ghost medium OGG. That that one is, seems okay, but for some reason the small one sounds like nails grating on a chalkboard. So thank you so much, Waster, for making that mod for me. I really appreciate it. And of course, you can download it on the uh, the mod uh, mod uh, th through either the game. Uh, just search for KOS. It's it's here. Uh, let's see. KOS. Yep. Right there. Disable nasty sound. Hooray. And then, um, yeah, or through the, uh, the regular mod portal. So anyway, confirm this and we'll go to our game. Now, um, I looked at the map before starting today and there's some interesting things there. Mostly the lack of a radar. I'm like, what the heck happened? And then you see the remnants of biters here. I think that used to be our radar. I believe that either they destroyed these, um, whatchamacallit, turrets, or we didn't place any. I don't remember. But we do need to get some ammunition. We don't have any on us at all. Uh, and we might, I don't know if we should go and do we, I don't think we have a tank yet. So, um, we're just going to grab all of this. I think I might even do something like a mini, uh, belt fed thingy majingy out there. Wait, do I have any walls? I have walls. All right. We can go down there. Perfect. So yeah, that's our, that's what we're thinking about doing here. Let me go ahead and make this our ammunition there. And we'll walk along our path. Nice. Okay. Let's go, let's go. I'm a tiny bit worried about this area. Oh, there's nature overcrowding our path. This is extremely inconvenient. <laughs> we want our steel to be safe. It must be safe. From the rampaging oh did we not get some inserters over here i think not they didn't get a coal we might need some more uh inserters over there but yeah oh geez looks like we are having some issues with biters actually getting up here that turret is almost destroyed that is not ideal for sure so that will give us a little bit of uh vision here looks like they destroyed a turret so wasn't for lack of turrets it's just they all got destroyed so what i want to do is something like this i'm gonna place them very specifically uh there we go so that it's easier to belt the ammo to them and let's get some walls here there we go All right, let's get like two, two thickness of walls. There we go, nice. This reminds me in some games like where you built walls and like you had to build them too thick so you could walk on them or your people could walk on them. That was cool. Okay, uh, I keep thinking it might have been Caesar. Oh, geez, wow, this is interesting. Okay, all right, fighters be dead. Fighters go! Uh, however, I want to actually remove that from there uh, because we want to get some, you know what, let's get inserters down first. Uh, actually, this is perfect. We can, we can actually copy this entire thing over. Control V. Oh, nice. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Let's copy this section with a power pole because apparently I forgot those. Copy. Yeah, there we go. This. There we go. Nice repeatable design. That's why I was very specific about how I place these things. All right. We don't need these probably. Just let the last one sit over there. Uh, and then we'll get another long distance power pole to reach over to here. I think we could probably stand to have a one there. Possibly. All right. And this is going to be a semi-automated 
experience, shall we say. We'll go ahead and remove these from here uh, for now. Uh, how do we want to do this? I think what I want to do is make a belt going this way, like this, to bring ammo down to these areas. So I don't have to walk all the way down there. Just part the way. Let's just start it here for now, shall we? Here? I might even do it all the way up there. Oh, 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 biters, biters, biters. Oh no! Okay. I, sh I knew I should have left some... Um... <laughs> that was dumb. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, okay. There we go. Thank you, nanobots, for repairing the turrets. We appreciate it. Yeah, this is actually not a good situation. What What's happening here is this. The bases are soaking up too much pollution. And they are releasing biters. And that is what's detrimental to us right now. So yeah, we're going to have to just... I'm going to leave the ammo in those turrets for now. Uh, and get rid of this. How did this happen? <gasps> oh, this na naughty, naughty trick. Yep, yep. Undergrounds. You can't see it very well from the side, but yeah, stuff can get into the undergrounds that way. All right, let's pick up all of this ore. And uh, we're doing that with F, by the way. Also, if you're wondering how I'm switching things or I can pick things up really easily, I'm just pressing Q. Q is a pipette tool, which you might know if you have ever done any graphics work. Uh, and it basically allows you to get a copy of what you have on the ground. Now, I know a few people are following along with the series. If you are um, worried that I'm going fast, just please uh, pause the video and catch up if you're actually you know, following along and building with me. I think that's probably the easiest way to do things. Let's just kill some nature over here. Thank you, nature. Bye-bye. There we go. All right, and then we'll just put a little box here, and this will be dispersing our ammo. I'll put the rest in here, all of it, and then just connect it there. Hello, my tiny cat. My tiny cat has just decided to visit me, and, and I don't know. Hello, my cat. What you doing? You gonna drink my water? That is not permitted. Of course, cat is a baby, and so she she doesn't quite know about the intricacies of water drinking yet, especially when it's not from her cup. Okay, let's just take this over here. Hello, my cat. Oh, we have some major purrs going on here. This is exciting. Oh, nice cat. Okay, that's my little kitten Emma. We just recently got. Okay. And let's get this over here. Number one away from the turrets. There we go. Oh, let me open her little house for her. Okay, cat, get in. There we go. Okay. She might jump on top of it now that I've opened it. That's okay. We have something. Something for the cat. Let's just go take this this way for now. And I wonder if I should just delete this. Um, and then take this belt... This seems to be a really good choke point down here. Let's just move these in a little bit better lineup. So there's more of them. Okay. Nope, that doesn't work there. Uh, okay. All right. Take those up. All right, there we go. Okay, so how do we want to fix this here? Don't know. Um, geez. Let's just do what we can and then, <laughs> then go forward from there. That's kind of all you can do, really, with things like this. It's like, all right, let's just solve some of it. Oh, we actually have some magazines coming along. Now, what this is going to do is these guys still have yellow magazines in them. Oh, boy, that's a big biter carcass over there. Help. Uh, yeah, that works there. 
I think these guys can chain ammo. Ah, oh, but we can't chain from there. Nopesies. Not good. We can chain from here, I believe. Right? Does that work? Chaining? I think chaining should work. Let's see, though. Let's get our power poles connected. Yep, it does. Chaining does work. I forgot that that's the other situation. Uh, labs do this and also um, turrets, which I kind of forgot about. Let's see. This has a range of that. Eh, not sure it's worth it. Take this one off. Of course, chaining is going to be slower than direct feed. A tiny bit. Uh, it doesn't... Not sure if it matters terribly much, but it might, depending on your factory. Let's just take these guys this way, and then we can get some more feeds in here. This one can get fed by a long-handed inserter. Here we go. Excellent. Nice. Okay, so that's that done. Now the problem is, oh boy, that's a problem. Let's see where these guys go. I'm really curious to see where they're going to go around and how this is going to work. Okay, so it looks like some of them are going for that wall and some are going for this wall. I think we should remove a lot of this. A lot of this. I think let's just get this kind of thing like this. Um, yeah, something like that. We'll remove these walls here. And we are going to give up some of our coveted... Uh, real estate here with the water, but that's okay. I'm not really that bothered by it. Yeah, let's pick up this. Ooh. Research oil processing. Eco-unfriendly. How nice. Alright, now these guys are going to be safe. Uh, oh dear. Ha, but we have, we have no more ammo, so life is not great at the moment. Uh, but it's okay. Okay, can we... Now question, question, can we get bullets in here? That's a good question. We might just pick up some and then send it back on the track. Uh, all right, let's take that there and then we'll just have these guys like this. And for this area, I think I'm just gonna chain them because why not? So let's do this kind of thing. Um, yep, that works. That works. One there, maybe. That's a heck of a long chain, but could be useful. I could have one coming down from there that could work as well, but I don't know if it's necessary. All right, let's get these going. Ooh, we are having some customers to try out the new stuff. Hooray. Okay, that's great. But yeah, I think we definitely, definitely need some more stuff. All right, I'm going to send some bullets down. Do we need any more vision here in this area? I think we do. Let's just put another radar out here. And I can also do some scanning more uh, in a far off direction. Let's do that there. Okay, good, good. Those guys are trying to delete this area, but we're not letting them. So we're going to put the rest of these piercing rounds into the box. I think I'm also going to get regular firearm magazines. Now, one thing to note, and this is sort of kind of important, I guess, is that when you have a certain kind of uh, stuff, actually, I'm going to take this out. Oh, oh no, I'm not going to take it out. Ew. I was going to say, oh, yeah, we have too many in there. We can put less in there. But uh, the thing is, is once you have one type in there, you can't put a second type. So... If these uh, bits of um, ammo are on the belt, two different kinds, that means that the uh, turret is only going to pick up one kind until it runs out, and then it will pick up the other kind. It doesn't necessarily matter, but just be aware that that happens. Okay, so let's put this stuff... Oopsies, that's not the way to do it. Let's put this stuff in here, and then also this in there, and that should feed this for a tiny bit until we... Man, we really need to just turret creep these bases here. Yeah, all of these. I think we need to get rid of all of them. Let's see, this one is 
quite big with these worms here. Ugh. I'm very tempted to just go lasers and get them out, but I think lasers are too far off. Anyway, uh, what can we do here? We can do follow a robot count. Oh, that's what we can do. Hello. I want to make defender capsules. Can we make those yet? We can. Oh, this is great. Okay, we're going to make those. We're going to have a great time. Okay, let's go here. Let's drop off this uh, iron ore into the furnaces here. And again, that's control click to just drop it in. Um, oh, this is nice. This is actually quite great. <laughs> um, also, one thing that uh, I would like to say, and I'm not sure if um, if you know this or not, but just because we have red belts doesn't mean we need to actually use them. We only need to use red belts where we need the production. So, for example, if we look here at these smelting lines, for example. Now, it would be beneficial for us to replace the furnaces with steel furnaces because they use half the coal, basically twice the speed of smelting. But until we can um, have 60, 60 miners on a red belt, uh, we don't need a red belt because uh, we need 30 miners just for a yellow belt. And we have no more iron, as you can see. It's all used up except for like a couple of patches there. So yeah, we don't we don't really need red. And don't upgrade until you absolutely need to because red is expensive. I mean, it costs an extra, let's see, five gear wheels, an extra 10 for one transport belt. Yes, 10 iron plus the, plus a regular transport belt to make the upgraded transport belts. Yeah, so you, I'm I'm mostly using the fast undergrounds because of the length, as we discussed in an earlier episodes. The uh, yeah, red undergroundies are much longer. So, uh, all right. So what I want to do here is I thought that this would be too much, but I don't think it's going to be too much. So I think what I want to do is... How much do we have in here? It's made 462 since we went on our Odyssey of Killing Biters. I think what I want to do is I'm going to double this array. And how many uh, turrets are in here? I think we have way too many. Oh my gosh, I forgot to limit the chest. Oh, sail on turrets. Oh dear. Well, it's fine. It's fine. It's not as bad as it could have been. That's for darn sure. So what I'm going to do is we're going to deconstruct this turret thingy. And we said previously that um, these are taking four times the amount of time as these do. So what we're going to do is just copy these and replicate this section. And that should be a perfect ratio with the yellow ammo. Okay. And then we're going to control V to, and then shift uh, wheel to go and get back our turret thingy-majingy. I do need some... Uh, power poles. Do I have any wood? I don't think I have any. Oh, I do have some wood. Great. Um, let's see. We'll get these power poles made. Do I have any power poles in the mall? I don't think so. I think I have regular power poles. Yeah, I have I have steel power poles, which we can start using as a standard. But sometimes I just like to use the regular ones because, you know, they're, they're kind of free. They're very cheap to make. And most of the time you don't need steel. Especially in early game where resources kind of matter. So... Yeah. All right. Now then, um, what we can also do with this thing is we can make some of these defender capsules. And I wish I had done more follower robot counts. Let's see. We can do follower robot count two. Now, what follower robot count does is it enables these drones to follow us. And they are consumable. That's those defender capsules that I'm talking about. So two uh, gives you, I think it gives you, literally two robots that can follow you more we're gonna have to have blue science which is a shame because i'd really like to take these guys out but that's okay uh we're gonna get some physical projectile damage four and then what else shall we get weapon shooting speed sure okay uh and those are how much are those 300 research thingy thingies and then we need to start on oil but I think we'll just, let's get those military things out of the way. And I think, should we make these? I, I don't know if we should make these en masse or not. That I am not sure about. But since we have all of the ingredients here, uh, we have, yeah, gears. We have piercing rounds. 
and we can get the the um the, the uh the greeny thingies green chips yeah let's take this this way and this one and then here we'll take gears we'll make some defender capsules they take 25 seconds to make which is a crazy amount of time but that's okay we'll uh, we'll have a nice time it'll be fine now then the question is how to get these rounds up there i think i might just want to have a uh the belt come around and go back and loop backward i think that's probably the easiest way of doing this so let's just take this back whoopsies oh my gosh here we go and these are going to be green circuits okay there we go now we can do something like this just to have a half a belt it doesn't really matter it's just how much is gonna sit on the belt oh really wow okay sure all right. Also, the hot bars are accessed by using one through ten on the numpad, or not on the numpad, on the uh, the keyboard main number section to access those. All right. Now then, let's go this way with these, and we'll have it loop around. Yeah, there we go. So anything that's not used by the Defender capsules will be returned to the box. That's the idea here, I think, with this. Okay. And let's just copy this section here. We'll make, I don't know, four of these maybe? I don't know how long we're going to be using these capsules. I have no idea. But we'll see. Hopefully not too long. I would really like to get lasers, but oil is a fair distance away because there's a lot of um, preparatory work that goes into oil. Okay, so here we can just have these loop around and then these guys need an output, which we can probably put them... Uh, actually, we'll put them kind of here. We'll put them here and then going this way into a box right there. Okay, excellent. Fantastic. All right, I think we only want two stacks of these. That should be more than enough. All right, very nice, very nice. We have five, this is fantastic. All right, now I forgot how defenders work exactly, whether they float. I think they float around the player. I'm not quite sure, but we want to have follow robot count two finished and completed for that. Looks like we do need to extend our military science belt this way. Okay, and there we go. Perfect. Very nice, very nice. So those were not getting used, alas. We need to organize the science. I kind of plan to reorganize the science once we get to blue science. So we'll do that in the near future. Now, how many do we have? 11, 12. So, uh, right. What we need to do next is prepare ourselves by gathering some ammunition. Like there. Why is this weird? Okay. It's just weird. Uh, all right. That's fine. Is it? It's not going on the same side of the belt, is it? Shouldn't be. No, it's not. It's just, it just looks funny. Because we reversed the belt, that's all. Oh, this is exciting. Defender capsules. I haven't used these for in a very long, the last time I remember using them is in 0 0.12.35. But I'm sure I used them in a playthrough after that. I'm pretty sure I did. So one of the things that we can do is change out our hot bars and hot bars are quite a cool thing because you can click these for example and change to any one of them you want so let's use hot bar zero for things like military stuff so i want to do we'll do turrets in maybe one ammo in two so that we can just quickly use the hot keys to select these things without um uh, having to like, okay, find around, look, 
you know, peck at it with the mouse, that kind of thing. All right, let's go and get some more ammo. We have no more ammo. I think it's being eaten by the defender capsules, actually. It might be just too slow. And what's going on? Why are these not functioning that well? Oh, what? You know, I think we need faster inserters for these. Yeah, I think they weren't getting enough iron, so they weren't actually producing a capacity. That's a shame. Darn it. How's this one going? Is this one... Are there too many collecting now? Yeah, I don't... Well... One, two, three. Yeah, we need to actually a fast inserter here as well to take those out. All right, so that should get things moving a tiny bit faster. We'll just grab the last of this. And I think 424 might be enough to go and kill stuff. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Well, in any case, the defender capsule should work well. You know what? Let's go try. Let's have a nice time and go and try. Mm -hmm. This could be a tiny, tiny disaster, but it's okay. We have, um, we have things. We, we have, we have a save file. <laughs> we have a save file. And, uh, if we die, we can always reload that. It's fine. It's fine. All right, biters, we're coming for ya. It's nighttime. We're going to sneak up on you in your camps and then launch our turrets at you and our defender capsules. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, yeah. We're, we'll, let's see. Let's go ahead and um, let's see. Tab to select our gun. You know, I haven't thought about using the shotgun. That might have been a good idea as well. But it's okay. I'm not going to handcraft any ammo or anything right now. I think we're good. I think 29 is more than enough. Now, see, the only thing about using this hotbar, which is not necessarily convenient. Oh, you know what we need? We need a gate. Do we have a gate? Hello? No? I don't think I researched gates. All right, well, we'll have to go in the back way. It's fine. Um, is that I use WASD to move, so it may or may not be convenient depending on where my fingers are at the time. So, oh, there's a big group. All right, big group. Let's see what we can do here. Ah, oh, this is awful. This is kind of rough. Let's approach it from this side. We'll just kind of... And then... No, 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 that's not what we want to do at all. 40, 25, 20, sure. Let's go here. Two, half, half. I keep forgetting to unselect that thing. Okay, so let's... Uh, the problem with... Some people were, were annoyed with my creeping methods. Um, but the problem with the creep is that... If it's not in range of a nest, it doesn't actually do anything. Okay, let's throw out some capsules here. There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. No, they're following me. No. Oh, boy. Fish, fish, fish. Help. Help. Fish. Right, let's see if we can get these capsules. Come on. Come on, guys. Defend me. Defend me with your life. They are shooting at stuff, which is great. I might not even need the turret creep for these guys. I think I don't. Here, let me just grab these turrets, though. One of them is damaged, but that's okay. They're they're lasting quite a while. Quite happy about this. And this is much more than two. I think you start out with a, with a certain amount. There we go. I'm not even shooting my gun. This is fantastic. Ha! <laughs> Who even needs physical projectile damage? Forget about it. Okay, what we want to do is hurry to the next base. I do want to pick up these uh, these turrets, though. Let's let the nanobots repair. Good, good. That saves me time too, so I don't have to get out a repair kit. All right, excellent. Now then, oh, there's a bunch of biters there. All right, I'll let the turrets at home take care of these guys. Uh, this is not a problem, but those guys are a problem. So let's go and get everything in the pollution range. Oh, this is nice. Hey. We are going to kill those two bases. I hope I have enough. Okay, so they've disappeared. Those defender capsules have disappeared. I'm going to just go ahead and make 10 more. I don't know if they'll be active, but we'll see. 
I'm going to have a position of safety. I definitely want to have a few turrets that I can run to just in case. Okay. All right, defenders, let's go. Okay, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so I can hold 15. That's pretty good. 15. Oh, boy. Hello. Oh, boy. I I meant to reach for that fish. Probably should have put it on my hot bar. Um, let's go respawn. Let's just respawn. So these guys are still killing this stuff. I'm I'm impressed with their bravery. That's fantastic. Uh, we did well. So we're back at home now. We have nothing. We want to go get our body. So this is what happens when, when you die. Uh, you have nothing. I do want to make armor for sure. So I'm going to grab up some copper. Uh, and then steel plate. Let's see, where's our steel? Go. Let's make this. I'm going to get barely any materials. I think those things should be holding out a tiny bit. We are going to grab our ammo and we're going to grab the... This. Capsules. Wow. 78. Holy fuzzy cats, that's a lot. Yeah, well, two stacks should be enough. I think a stack is 100. Anyway, we have nothing with us. I'm not that worried, though, because all of it should be on our body. Unless spiders now, like, munch it to bits, but I don't think so. Alright, let's go. Long trek back. Uh, is there a shortcut? E short, sort of. Not really. Not really. Not really a shortcut. We'll just go there. Sad times, but it'll be fine. We did get free ammo, though. We got 10 free magazines. Hello. Mm. <laughs> I should have actually put it in that box for the ones feeding the red ammo. I should have done that. I didn't think about it. Anyway, uh, fish. Fish might really be useful, actually. So let's go and catch some. Just in case. I mean, we do have our armor. Yeah, that was a bad time. I tried to get out, and it was too, too slow. Too slow. Thinking too slow, trying to do too many things at once. Also, when you catch a fish, you get 15 of them. So, anyway, yeah, that's a thing. So I'm going to go ahead and leave those there. Put them on that one hop bar, and then this can go there. All right. Yay. All right, so let's go through here. And hopefully this should be an end to biters. Can I get up there? No. Ah, oh, darn it. My body is somewhere over there. There is actually a mod if uh, if you like QOL mods. There's one for finding your body. Which is kind of useful. It like, has a little pointer showing you where your body is. Kind of like MMOs where they uh, have the corpse finder thingy-majingy. Yeah. I forget what it's called, but you should be able to find it on the mod portal. Just search for corpse or body or something like that. All right. Back back to the battlefields where uh, biters don't get a second chance, but we sure do. Hooray. All right. We do have... Yeah, that was another thing. I just lost track of everything so fast. There are things here. Let me just deploy a few of these bots. Hooray. Eee. There we go. Kill the worms, please. Kill the worms. Thank you. Where's my body? There it is. So you can... It's a chest, basically. So you can control click your body, I think. Or not. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so what I did is I clicked... Control clicked one item. One type of item. It put it in. Then I control clicked the square, the empty square. And it gives me all the stuff. All right, let's get our defenders back. Since obviously I didn't have the presence of mind to run back toward my turrets. We'll just try to stay out of range here. But maybe I should be a little bit more proactive about that. Uh, turrets, turrets, turrets are here. Okay, I'll just do like little strafing runs here. Oh, that worked perfectly. Excellent. All right. 
Perfect. Are there any... Th oh, wow. Running through poison is actually quite dangerous. And it's hard to see from a higher angle. Okay, this is looking really good. There's nothing else in our pollution zone. We could go and get this place. That is going to be our next target. But I think I'm just going to leave those for now. Let's pick these guys up. Wow. Those die in a blaze of glory. Holy fuzzy cats. That sound. Oof. Alright, there we go. Leaving the remains of the battle on the battlefield. Uh-huh. Um, in, in other news, we did liberate this copper patch, and there's a nice stone patch down there as well. You know what? Should we get that biter base while we're here? We could. We have tons of drones, or defender capsules. I'm really surprised how good of a job they're doing, but... Um, make no mistake, these are small and medium biters. They are not big biters. I think they would have a much worse, worse time and struggle with the medium-sized biters because, or the, the large biters, uh, because they have a lot more HP. So let's go down this way. You can view the biter carnage over here. All these deflated nests. Nice. The destruction graphics look really good. Okay. Let's keep going down here. This is interesting. So this is the new soil. The biter kind of corrupted, funky, nesty soil. Like, I guess they sort of make it, they suck all the moisture out of the earth is what they do. That's what biters do. Yeah, yeah. New, new biter research because we're a scientist here. Definitely, for sure. Okay. Hot bars, you're blocking my view here. Hello. I know it's close. There it is. There it is. There's a nest. Okay. Let's get our thingies again. Okay. Again, a couple. Okay. We'll just kind of go on tiny strafing runs here. Wow. Those, that, that, uh, those, those worms. Definitely spitting. It uh, behooves us to avoid the poison if we can. Nice! Oh, that actually worked really well. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Nanobots, please fix. Please fix. Oh, no. This is not good at all. Uh, nanogun, please. 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 There we go. Do we have any more nano capsules? Yes, there we go. All right, pick these guys up. Now our little capsules are gonna die before we get back to the base anyway. Should we go over here? Kind of tempted. I'm feeling the bloodlust over here. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Why not? Right? Let's just go. It'll be fine. Oh, if I don't get deleted by trees though, man, this is rough. Several people wrote comments to me that they have seen people run into trees and power poles and lamp posts and signs and I'm like where are you living uh huh I have never seen a person do that now having said that I used to know um this uh, really cool person who did skydiving and she says there could be a tree in the middle of an open field like nothing around it but if you were skydiving and if you looked at that tree and kept on looking at that tree guess what you would run into that tree but i think um the general consensus is, is we don't look at those power poles and stop signs and stuff before we run into them but you never can tell it seems like people can run into things when they're looking at them and also don't run into things or run into things when they're not looking at them so who knows humans are just weird thank god we're robots isn't it great huh ah. Let's go here a tiny bit. Oh, no, no, no. That's not what I wanted to do. Come on. Fender capsules, I'm ready for you, my honeys. All right. Those are 15. Oh, wow. This is too easy, my friends. Too easy. I'm actually tempted to not pick these up. I think if we just strafe, maybe we can use it as a, like, a, I don't know, emergency action. We'll shove a bunch of turrets down. Ah, uh, let's go from the back one. I really wish I didn't have to lose these, but these, these bases are kind of far apart. 
I don't know what the timer is on them. Probably says, but I'm not going to look at it right, right this moment. But I'll keep them out, just in case. There they go, they're starting to die. Let's just kill off some of the biters for spawn first. Whoa! Strengthening. Strengthening run. There we go. Nice! Alright. Clean run. There's nice oil over there, too. This is more difficult because we've got trees to contend with over here as well. And the defenders are going to shoot at what they want to shoot at. Not necessarily what I think they should shoot at. So that's a tiny bit more difficult. Get those worms, please. My my little my little defendery friends. You're defending me against the, the ruthless biters. Okay, doing well. Hey, the dancing worked. Perfect. Oh, that's beautiful. Also, a few people have asked me about Biter Island over here. And we're going to call it that, I think. Let's see. We're going to call it Biter Island. Because that seems, uh, you know, useful. Um, no, <laughs> sorry. I don't want to put that as an icon. Is there an icon for indigenous life forms? Hello? I don't think so. I guess we should just put... We, we could put no fishing. <laughs> Oops, it didn't save. Okay, Biter island i do plan to keep this as a zoo some people suggested that so yeah that's what's gonna happen over on biter island over there and um i think this is probably a good time to end this episode because we have spent over 40 minutes killing biters and setting up that little mini conveyor belt that probably won't be used anymore because we're not going to get any raids because there's no more biter bases in the pollution so anyway um i thank you so very much for being here i really appreciate it if you've enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and subscribe to be informed of new videos. It is very, very much appreciated and helps me out a great deal. Remember to check out my KOS and Factorio merch and make your way to our Discord server to chat about the game, share ideas, and play on our community server. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.